Hello, I am Seamus Dunahu of EVE University, and this is episode 20 of How to Survive EVE Online. Alright, I finally got cybernetics up to level 1, so that means I can now use implants. Now, in pre a previous episode I've mentioned that your the rate at which you train skills depends upon your attributes, and one way to change your attributes is to remap them but you only get a remap once every year after you've used the first two. The other way to increase your attributes is through what are called implants, and you'll find them under the augmentation section. So first of all, let's go to the skill queue, and let's pause, because you cannot insert an implant while skills are training. Then go to your items hanger, look for the limited social adaptation chip that you got as a reward from an earlier mission, right click, and plug in. Implants are lost when unplugged, and when you die. Are you sure you want to use this one now? Click OK. Click the Apply button again. Go back to the character sheet, and let's look at the attribute section. Charisma was 19 points, now it's up to 20. Attribute affecting implants go as high as plus 5, and implants only go in particular slots. So charisma boosting implants are always slot 5. I forget which of the other attributes are go in which of the other slots, but those cover slots 1 through 5. There are additional slots 6 through 10, but your uh, skill attribute implants won't go in those slots. Those are cover those are called hard wirings in 6 through 10, and I will cover those in a uh, different tutorial video. Uh, Right now, you don't have anything that depends on Charisma, so we really haven't changed anything. But that's how implants work. You pause the skill queue, you plug in the implant, you apply the skill queue again to resume. Very important, always make sure you remember to apply after you've plugged in an implant. Alright, let's go to the journal. Go to Making Mountains of Molehills 9 of 10. And the agent wants us to pretend to be a miner, wait for a treacherous production assistant to show up, blast his ship to smithereens, and recover him from the wreckage. Hopefully he'll be in something that can still contain air. So let's accept. And close. Close this. And let's open the fitting window. We're not going to need the analyzer. You will be doing mining work, so let's put on the expanded cargo hold. It's worth noting that the expanded cargo hold does, while it increases your cargo capacity, it also reduces your maximum velocity and your structure hit points. So it makes you just a tiny bit more fragile. Uh, we are going to need a mining module, so let's right click the group's weapons, clear the group. That way we can pull off one weapon. Let's throw on a mining laser. And let's throw the ammunition back in. And I'm also going to throw on an afterburner. Let's close everything and undock. Right-click empty space, making mountains of molehills, line of 10, encounter dead space, warp to location. Warp drive active. We are in an asteroid field. Go to your mining overview tab. Let's sort this with the nearest asteroids at the top. Lock the nearest. And let's hit F2 to turn on our mining laser. This is a kernite asteroid. It's a field of kernite asteroids. Normally you only find these in the celestial asteroid belts over in the Amar Empire, Amatar Mandate, and Khanid Kingdom in security level 0.5, at least within high security. 
You could try looking for kernite in low security space elsewhere, but I don't advise it because mining ships are not very good at combat and any player pirates who cross your path are going to blast you and your pod to smithereens. So we sit and wait for uh, the production system to show up. This is a waiting game. And the production assistant just showed up. A Corelli initiate. Control left click. Left click the hostile. Fire your weapon once to get his attention, but he is a little bit too far away for your blaster to work. He's got to get a little closer. It's going to take him a moment to target lock us and decide he wants to get... You know what, let's just approach him. There we go, he's yellow boxing us. Control space bar to stop. Open fire. Boom. Now, the rat dropped a mission objective, so... Oh, rat is a common term for an NPC pirate. So, left-click the cargo container. Open the cargo. There's the production assistant. Drag him into the cargo hold. We can shut off our mining laser, and we can go click the station and dock up. Warp drive active. I have now docked up in station. I'm going to drag the kernite that I have and the production assistant into the station items hangar. Now, I could turn in the mission if I wanted to, but if I turn in the mission now, by right-clicking the agent, starting conversation, and click complete mission. If I turn in the mission now, the mission space goes away. So do any asteroids that were created as part of the mission space. Sometimes you may want to keep a mission around for some a little bit longer than strictly necessary, just so that you can go back to that mission space and mine the asteroids that are there. It's not a celestial asteroid belt, so players are less likely to bother you. They'd have to put some effort in to find you using what are called combat probes. I'll explain probes when we get to the exploration part of this series. So if you want to go mining, just uh, undock in your Navitas. Just leave the weapon behind, bring a second mining module. You don't need the armor repair. And go mine some asteroids, if you feel like it. Otherwise, you can just turn in the mission right now. Right. In either case, uh, that is it for this episode. I am going to go mine some rocks. Uh, in the meantime... Oh, I almost forgot. I do have... I couldn't find any up-to-date online resources, so this is the spreadsheet that I use for, uh, my, uh, for my mining notes. I have on each row the name of a particular kind of asteroid, and some brief notes on where that asteroid may be found, at least in celestial asteroid belts, and the different kinds of minerals that they refine into. I believe the numbers that I have in this table are correct, but I haven't tested it uh, to make sure. But in any case, if you want to reproduce this table for yourself, feel free. In the meantime, thank you for watching.